Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this adorable pencil charm using a single rainbow loom and a bunch of rubber bands. For this design, in order to repeat the pattern I've made, I use four black, seven silver, 12 white, 10 pink, and 21 yellow. The silver that I'm using is from Rainbow Loom brand. They have come out with some metallic bands. They're a little bit hard to locate. If you don't have the silver, a good substitute is gray or even black. And I've also made pencils that came out really well using just yellow for the entire body. So if you don't have all the colors, be creative. I'm sure you'll come up with a good design. My first encounter with uh, a pencil charm came from Gabby Bracelets on Instagram. I saw this adorable photo as a part of her account, and I contacted her to ask her whether or not I could share her design. Now, Gabby, being a responsible designer, told me that while this particular design was hers, that she had gotten the idea from somebody else. She had gotten the idea from Abigail. So Abigail Sikorsky and her friend Anna had posted this video up on YouTube. I'll put the link below in the description so you can see how it started. She shows how to turn this pencil into a bracelet that goes all the way around. My design is slightly different, uh, but there's no question uh, that the path of inspiration goes from Abigail and Anna to Gabby and then to me. So here is Made by Mommy's version of the pencil charm. To begin with, I want you to check that your loom is configured as mine is. I have the pegs adjusted to be straight across. The arrow is actually up here pointing downward. We're going to lay our rubber bands this time from the top to the bottom so that it coincides with this chart that will be available for download on madebymommy.com. The first rubber band you need is a single black rubber band. Place that on the top center peg and pull to the middle. Next, take two pink rubber bands at a time from the center to the side. And again, two pink rubber bands from the left to the center. Now we need to work two more pink rubber bands and I think you can guess what comes next. Yes, two pink rubber bands. This is what's going to make the center of our eraser. And to complete the eraser, two more pink rubber bands on the right side. Now we're going to add on the silver band. two at a time on the left, middle, and right sides. Then switch to your yellow color. Now you see I actually made two different. This is the Rainbow Loom yellow. This is actually Rainbow Loom's neon orange. I like it better for the pencils. So that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. Of course, I've also made purple pencils, so anything really goes. But we're going to go traditional for the demo. The 
two at a time again on the left, on the center, and on the right sides. So now we're ready to switch to white. Unless you have a better color than I could find um, to create that sort of wood part of the pencil. So from left, then center, and then right, two rubber bands at a time. Two rubber bands at a time from center and from the center on the diagonal and then to create your pencil tip to black and we're ready to start placing our cap bands the first one starting from the bottom is a single black rubber band wrapped around this one peg four times. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to take a single white rubber band and wrap it around these two twice. The next one is going to go across these three. Take your single white rubber band, you pull it, twist it, and then fold it back over those same three. Do the same thing for the next row, but with yellow. We're ready to put the silver cap band on here. The silver rubber bands that came, even from Rainbow Loom, are less stretchy. Uh, if you're very worried about breaking bands, then use pink here instead of silver because the silver ones are much more likely to break when you pull them like this. There we go. All of your rubber bands are now on the loom and you're ready to begin hooking. Starting where that black band was wrapped around four times, we're going to reach in with our hook and pull back on those bands. And bring those two black rubber bands forward. Then reach in and grab the top two white rubber bands, which will go up on your diagonal to the right. And then go back in for the two more white rubber bands that go forward to the center peg. Now for hooking a band like this, where you have rubber bands coming from two different angles, sometimes it's helpful to look at it from the side so that you can see exactly where each of those pairs is. Because you need to pull back that cap band and then catch just the two rubber bands that are on top and go forward. Then it's much simpler going back in to catch your two rubber bands that go up on the diagonal. And then you can come back here to the right side, go inside that cap band, and go forward again. That's what's going to create your triangular pencil point. And now we're going to proceed forward, straight up 
all three rows, just like you would do for a triple single bracelet, making sure to catch just two rubber bands at a time. And if when you're going through this you realize you only caught one, that's okay, just put the one in place and come back and get the second one. Just make sure you do it before you hook the next one. So here we go. Here's the body of the pencil coming together. Center row. You just want to look for all these V shapes because that's how you're going to know this will stay together well and that you haven't missed any. So now we just have the top of the pencil to do. I'm going to go in from the left side and pull two bands to the center and then repeat on the right side, hooking two bands and bringing those to the center as well. Now there's a lot of rubber bands on this one spot, so you may need to push it down with your thumb to make sure nothing pops off. And now the only thing we have left to do is to hook this loop that will connect your charm to wherever it is you decide to put it. So reaching way in to get just that black rubber band that's on the bottom. Going up and around. And then to make a slip knot to secure it, take the rubber band that's on the bottom on your hook, pull it, pull it through the center of the top rubber band and pull tight. And now you're ready to take your pencil off the loom. I always like to loosen these up a bit, um, especially these ones at the bottom that are strained. I use the back of my hook. Find if you pull on any one rubber band by itself too hard, it's much more likely to snap. So once you've got sort of the delicate point loose, then you can loosen from this side. This one, of course, being the biggest challenge because it's got the most rubber bands. Then once you've got a solid piece to grip on. You can just take your two hands to sort of pull back and pop off your entire pencil from the loom. And a few tugs to organize and you too will have your very own pencil charm to be proud of and to show off to your friends. I hope you enjoyed making a pencil charm with me today. If you did, please consider subscribing. It's the best way to tell me to keep on doing what I'm doing. Uh, I'd also like you to consider watching some of my other videos. I've got Ladybug, I've got a panda face, smiley face. We've got the ugly sweater charm. We've got flowers, we've got mustaches. There's plenty of fun projects to try next. Thank you again for watching. If you'd like to stay informed, in addition to subscribing, please consider adding yourself to my mailing list. 
There's a link below for that in the description as well. Thank you and have a great day.